okay so now this is the equation we last discussed and as per conic and penny he took a special situation where this potential took the form of dirac delta function so he defined a quantity b not into b which was known as barrier strength okay barrier strength and with an approximation that b not is tending to infinity and b tending to zero under this approximation what kind of change uh, we can expect here okay just second okay so if v not tends to infinity this sin hyperbolic beta b this will tend to how much this will tend to beta b and cos hyperbolic beta b this will tend to 1 and here cos a plus b b is tending to 0 so this will become cos k now uh, we want to calculate this value beta square plus alpha square divided by 2 beta alpha so what is the value of this thing beta square plus alpha square plus 2 beta alpha you can see beta and alpha values are given there beta square plus alpha square is twice m e by h cut square is getting cancelled and this 2 is also cancelling this 2 so m v naught by h cut square h is remaining so this will come out to be m v naught divided by h cut square and the alpha beta which was there that will remain so this is the overall thing now conic penny defined another quantity p okay okay so let's let us write the final equation after doing this approximation then it will be easier for understanding so just remember this value is m b naught by alpha beta h cat square this value is beta b this value is sin alpha this value is 1 so we are just doing the, if you multiply this the, this beta this beta will cancel so m b naught beta by alpha h cat square will come here in the first term okay so what will be the first term this will be m v naught into b divided by alpha into h cut square into sin alpha a and this cos hyperbole beta b is 1 so you just remove this will be cos alpha a and cos we can just write it cos k a okay so this is the equation we are getting now this quantity m v naught b divided by h cut square alpha this is further taken as p and you see this term v naught b is there so p is proportional to v naught b so this p directly gives you the measure of the barrier strength as i told you v naught b so it's barrier strength so whenever you see is increase in p means increase in barrier strength okay so after doing this modification we are getting ultimately i'm just writing it freshly so that there is no confusion to us because we are now going to plot it so ultimately you are getting the equation okay so uh, p i think we have defined it wrongly p is defined in this way p is equals to m v naught b a by h cut square just correct it if i have written it incorrectly and ultimately you will get the equation like this p sin alpha a divided by alpha a plus cos alpha a this is equals to cos k okay m v naught b by h cut square alpha was there and we have just taken m v naught into b a divided by h cut square this is the value of the p and as it has b not v so it directly shows the proportionality of the to the barrier strength so this is the ultimate equation we are getting now you see uh, this is the left hand side of the equation and this is the right hand side of the equation on the right hand side of the equation you can see the value of cos k you know what is the uh, maximum value of cos k the range of cos k lies between minus 1 to plus 1 maximum value is plus 1 minimum value is minus 1 that is it now this function left hand side of this is plotted for value of p is equals to 3 pi by 2 
this value uh, is standard value we can take with other values also and the form of the graph will change we will see to it ok. So, let us try to draw this. So, obviously, the right hand side is a cost function. So, it will have a cost type of function ok na? p sin alpha by alpha plus cos alpha if you plot it. So, it kind of sin kind of sinusoidal function you will get. So, let me just draw it. I am just removing all of these things because this is not gonna utilize too many more for the time being. You just keep it in your mind. So, I need bigger space. So, so let us draw this. So, we are drawing it by taking p is equals to 3 pi by 2. So, the variable here is alpha a, this is the y axis and along the y axis we are plotting actually this p sin alpha a by alpha a plus cos alpha a is equals to cos k. So, you see when alpha a is equals to 0, so obviously in the limit of alpha a is equals to 0, this value will be maxima. Okay. So, you will get a curve like this. Look, this value, this peak will be greater and the successive peak will be less like this, like this. I may not be perfect. If you want, I can give you the picture, but this peak will be large as compared to, you can adjust, I am just making it more obvious ok like this like this like this either chapta hoya anyways like this now here is the trick the value of the right hand side cos k is minus 1 to plus 1 so we can draw something like this let us say this value corresponds to plus 1 and this value corresponds to minus 1 because cos this should be equals to the allowed value of this function is cos k a and the maximum and minimum value is plus minus 1. So, whatever region is there beyond this those are not allowed. It means these are the only region allowed by the solution which we got by using block theorem and other things. So, only this will be these things will be there. So, other areas are not allowed. So, you can see from this point to this point we will have the allowed band from this point to this point. So, this are the allowed point and beyond this, 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 this and this. Okay, I hope you are understanding what is happening. So, only these are the region where the solution is allowed. So, these are the allowed energy band. And consequently, this will be a forbidden energy region. So, this is let us say we are writing it A for allowed, A for forbidden. Allowed, forbidden. Allowed, so, we are getting some consecutive allowed and forbidden region. Now, if we increase the value of P, then this allowed energy region will be squeezed and when you are considering P tends to infinity. So, instead of a band, they will convert into line spectra. We will talk about that in the next video. 
like by diff choosing different values of p the bandwidth can vary and for a sufficiently high value the band will be converted into a line spectrum so we'll get something like this something like this something like this so as we increasing the value of p this will convert into a line spectrum we'll con we'll talk about it in detail in the next video An Academy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GATE, JEST, IIT, JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on An Academy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus courses, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code FelixR and Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.